Jana stepped onto the pristine beach, feeling the warm tropical breeze against her skin. Palm trees swayed as crystal blue waves lapped gently at the shore. Up ahead was a cozy bungalow with a hammock, awaiting her stay. This two-week solo trip to a private island paradise was just what she needed to get away from her stressful life. In the first few days, Jana settled into a relaxing routine. Sunrise yoga on the beach, swimming in the clear waters, napping in the hammock with a book. The weather was perfect, the views breathtaking. In the evenings, she watched the sunset paint the sky in stunning hues of orange and pink. As the second week began, Jana started noticing odd patterns. The sun seemed to rise and set at identical spots on the horizon each day. The outlines of clouds appeared strangely repetitive, as if on a loop. She could have sworn she saw that exact same seashell collection along the shore a few days before. One morning, Jana decided to test something. She carved a small X into the doorframe of the bungalow. The next day, she searched for it, but the carving had disappeared. Puzzled, Jana walked the entirety of the small island and realized she could only explore certain paths and beaches. It was as if there were invisible barriers preventing her from going beyond a fixed area. That night, Jana again watched the sunset from the same lounge chair she sat in every evening. The colors blended in the sky in a pattern she now knew by heart. As darkness fell, instead of the usual sound of waves, Jana heard a faint mechanical whirring. She called out, but no one answered. Jana started to feel uneasy. She tried swimming out far past the point she normally did, but each time found herself mysteriously back at the bungalow, unable to breach some unseen perimeter. A creeping sense of dread came over her. By the tenth repetitive day, Jana felt exhausted and frustrated. She stopped leaving the bungalow altogether, the sameness and confinement overwhelming. But that night, a breakthrough. Carried on the wind, Jana detected voices, garbled and distant. Heart racing, she yelled out again and heard the voices get louder, their words indistinguishable, then silence. Jana sat stunned on the beach as a horrible realization washed over her. This was no paradise, no island getaway. It was just a simulation of a vacation. Her tropical paradise flickered and dissolved before her eyes. All the swaying palms, the bungalow, the endless glistening ocean, all of it blurred out of existence, leaving only a vast white emptiness. Jana opened her eyes to darkness and tore off the VR headset in a panic. As her eyes adjusted, she found herself surrounded by a team of concerned technicians in a simulation lab. A man in an executive suit stepped forward and profusely apologized, explaining there had been a system malfunction. He assured Jana she would receive a full refund. But she didn't care about credit. She just wanted to visit a real beach for once. Back home, memories of the simulated vacation faded rapidly, like a dream upon waking. But an aching longing for the feeling of real sand and the smell of the ocean remained. Jana started saving every extra credit she could. Someday, she vowed, she would walk barefoot on a true tropical beach. She would know real paradise when she found it.